Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike back with another video. I'm taking the comments and the questions you guys leave below for upcoming videos, topics, instructional. So comment below, let me know what you want to know, how I can help you. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. It's been helping me a lot. Channel's booming. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe, turn on notifications, new videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays, and a brand new podcast every single Wednesday. 50% facts, check that out. Today the question is, Mike, I don't want to ruin my ish. I'm going to try not to curse. And you guys are talking a bunch of ish on me saying uh a lot. But what you guys don't understand is unlike some YouTubers, not throwing shots, everyone has their own workflow, everyone has their own you know, talent sets, their skill sets. I am a one take guy and we're not that edited. You can watch some videos here on YouTube and you see someone's sentence broken up Someone will say like a five minute sentence and it'll chop it down into one minute, like erasing their thought process, their ums, their ands, their run on sentences. I don't do that. One, because I actually want you to see me and be authentic. Two, because I can get my thought out. I may have some likes or ums in the way, but we're building a connection here. Know that this is content. This is educational content and informational content, but it's also entertainment. It's not a college lecture and it's not a TED talk. Now, do I talk professionally for a living? Kind of, but it's a new age, baby. It's a new age. So the question is how, Mike, I, I don't want to ruin my ish. And uh, how do I warm up properly? What's a warm up entail? What does that look like? And so that's going to depend on the individual. It's going to depend on the uh, case. And it's also going to depend on the sport and activity ahead. But there's a basic pyramid that we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. And number one is always the actual warm up. Uh, Warming up may, may not reduce some injuries, uh, but it will allow you to perform better, may allow you to feel better. And for us lazy lifters, it does allow us to be a little bit healthier, burn slight calories, uh, but also just keep our heart in check. So we're gonna do slight cardio, low intensity, moderate intensity, 10 to 20 minutes on your favorite uh, situation. So I like to ride a bike, a salt bike, or a step master. Those feel best on my knees. I get a lot of blood going through my legs, which obviously I'm squatting four or five times a week. That's my main movers with uh, weightlifting, deadlifting, squatting. So it always feels good for that. Um, but anybody, you can walk, elliptical, anything you like, jog if you're into jogging, maybe even play a little bit of sport if you know there's a basketball court around or a soccer court or soccer field and you just wanna kick a ball around and jog a little bit. Great idea, set a timer and get after it. Uh, so we're gonna go for most general, right? We're generally warming up our entire body to a little bit more specific. Uh, in the middle there, we'll, we'll call it, you know, and all these semi-official terms, people are getting all nerdy with it and that's great and dandy. There's people that study this way harder than me and that's absolutely fine, but I'm gonna try to keep it base for you guys. We'll call it like a, a movement prep or a preparatory uh, phase for, for, for the day. And so what that will probably do in the middle there is work on some things. If you have some kind of aches and pains, potential injuries or potentially range of motion issues, this is the time now to kind of work on those so that you can move optimally in the exercise or your workout or training or sport for the day. Um, so for me, shoulders aren't great with the snatch or the, or the jerk or the, 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 the push press. So I'll do some maybe band pull aparts. I'll do some pullovers, some pull throughs with the band. Um, I might do some, some Y's, uh, really get my shoulders moving. Not necessarily stretching, um, but stretching isn't the worst thing. It may take away a little bit from top end explosive power, but a little bit of stretching before is not going to kill you. Um, but I would save the actual static stretching for the end. Uh, in the middle there, because I have really tight hips and tight kind of low back, I'll do some lunges, kind of stretch out my hip flexor. I'll just do walking lunges for a couple minutes, a couple sets of like 10 each leg with a rotation on my high knee to kind of stretch out that back, kind of keep moving. And that's personally my preparatory phase. Uh, but if I was going to do an upper body day, like a push day, I might be doing some face pulls, some pull aparts, maybe even some push ups, really get some blood into the situation. Now, very last phase would be specific uh, as possible warm up. So that's probably when you'll take the barbell, if that's your move, or even say you're going to do dumbbell press really heavy uh, and start with something very, very light and just go through that movement. So for squats, I take the barbell for two or three sets of five to 10. Uh, I might even do like an overhead squat if I'm snatching. Uh, I'll do some wrist stuff uh, and try to figure out my front rack. If I'm front squatting, let that bar sit a little bit, uh, move my knees around, but it's gonna be very specific 
and basically emulate what your top sets are gonna do or be very similar. So if I'm deadlifting, I might do some barbell good mornings, some stiff legs, and, a, and, and kind of a, a mock deadlift with just the bar to get things going. Now, I think this is something that, it is a little tedious, it's not very fun, but if you wanna be optimal in your training, you wanna be optimal in everything you're doing, uh, you want to feel a little bit better you probably will feel stronger you might not get stronger through these warm-ups but being properly warmed up will allow you to perform at your best uh, and then it may may or may not help some of those aches and pains and overall injuries uh, throughout your training you know you start training for a year you feel great you feel unstoppable but you start training 5 10 15 years and things really will add up so these little pieces um, do a big part and so at the end uh, get all your training done i do suggest kind of a cool down um, sometimes there is some uh, people that believe some science that may say that may not say uh, can help recovery so 5 to 20 minutes uh, again low intensity and then I'd probably get into your stretching or even go home get a meal uh, and get some stretching on uh, that may help some of that recovery and at the very least will help you feel better so don't ruin your ish be sure to warm up general to more specific Solomon Mike give this thing a thumbs up I appreciate you we got here.